I worried that my home, exhibition, would share the fate of whole station. But within that nightmare, I met a young survivor who was very brave and very talkative. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro 2033. I'm Shade Thar as always, and this is episode 10. Last time we found that after trying to defend whole station, we failed and it was overrun by mutants. Uncle! Uncle! Come on, get up! We'll get eaten! Please, why are you sleeping? Let's go to mom. You told me you'd take me to my mom. You promised. Go away! Leave me alone! Mom told me to not talk to strangers. Please! Uh, uncle! Are you hurt? Save something! He won't wake up. I think he's dead. He's dead, isn't he? How will I get home? You'll... you'll take me? I don't know you, but if I don't, I, I guess I'll get eaten by the monsters. You'll have a gun? Okay. Maybe I'll come with you then. You can shoot the monsters. Right? Okay. My name is Sasha. You shoot and I'll watch your back. I hate to leave Uncle here. I was visiting Uncle. He was taking me home when the monsters came. They jumped at him, but he started shooting and then a big no bit him in the neck. But Uncle is really strong. He killed it with his knife. You don't look as strong as Uncle. I'll have to help you or we'll both get eaten. So now we've got a bit of an escort mission. Uh, we're carrying around Sasha on our back and he's going to constantly yell in our ear about stuff. So that'll be fun. This level's also filled with lurkers. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Especially because there is quite a few more of them, I think, than in the last level. This tunnel especially has like five different burrows in it, so they can come out of anywhere. Me too. See, I don't want to run ahead because then they'll all just pop out behind me. I might end up burning through quite a bit of ammo in this level. Quite making into your hole, did ya? Oh shit. There's one more. I think that's most of them. Nope. I'm not sure if they're actually infinite here, or there's just a really large number of them. But... Well, shit hit me twice at the same time. God damn it. See, like, how did that lurker not trip the trap right there? Now, 
There's one of those psychic missiles. I'm not allowed to touch it, but there's ammo in that locker. That one. I know about the ammo lockers because my dad was a scout. Look in the one with the numbers. I have a gun too. It's in a safe place till I'm old enough to shoot. But you can borrow it when your gun wears out. You know that before he even came out of the hole. There's one more. It wouldn't bother me so much if they couldn't just jump through you and hit you at the same time. Honestly, I think I would have preferred to just have to fight in a house. Falling in these holes will also kill you, so if you don't look at the ground enough, you probably will die at least once to that. People should not throw grenades in here. Mom said that the ceiling is weak and could come crashing down. Seems like a weird thing to tell your kid. Make sure to never use a grenade in here, you might cause the ceiling to collapse. Luckily, there is kind of a certain range from their holes where they'll stop coming after you. Now here we can get two paths. We can either go to the top, which is full of traps, or the bottom, which is full of smoke. Station? Cool. I've never been to the tunnels before. Mom says there's a scary place where the kids go missing. Mom says if the kids go too far into the tunnels, the mutants catch them and eat their brains. And then those kids become mutants and go chasing other kids. Is that true? That's actually, I think, supposed to be a reference to the... Uh, what was it? Cult of Great Worm or something like that? in the book, which is basically a cult that kidnaps children and then uses those children to kidnap other children. 
to worship their giant worm god that is actually just a metro train. That's up there. Wait, Uncle showed me a picture once. The, the sky. That's the sky, isn't it? It's like a painted ceiling. I'll be, I'll be famous. Uh, I saw the sky. I'm sure the sky sort of loses its appeal once you start having demons fall out of it on you. I'm not sure what this tube is. Kind of weird looking. I guess it's supposed to be a ventilation shaft or something. Do you think we can climb all the way to the sky? Wait! I don't really want to go this high! Don't drop me! It's really hard to climb this with a kid on your back. Let me go! My gosh is out there! He's all good that he bring him back, but I should have have gone for him myself. Sajinka, why have they got him? Why did I keep him at home? Mom, mommy, that's my mom. Let's go. She's looking for me. Let me go. Let me go to her. Sajinka, you're mine. Do you have any idea how much that boy means? His father is really important to all of us. And if his son died, how did you get we here? would have killed him. And without Uncle him, we'd all be done for. But this man took me Thank you. on his shoulders. I helped him shoot the monsters. Oh, God. Poor Siroja. Mom, I sold the sky. Thank you for saving my son. I can never repay you. But uh, take these cartridges. At least it's something. No need for that, ma'am. Kind of already loaded as it is. The black station is not far from here, but this tunnel goes the other way. You need to go up to the surface. Be careful. New creatures have appeared there. Nazis. They've built an outpost in the destroyed building just outside. At the square, you will find an underground crossing leading to black station. The boys will let you outside. Good luck to you, Ranger. So yet again, another person that calls us Ranger. These are pretty much all the uh, survivors from Hole Station. Seems they got to evacuate after all. Or maybe they're not from Hole Station, maybe they're from the neighboring station, I'm not really sure. Oh, we do have a shop here. Not really much to it. Plus more revolver ammo. Good deal. You won't find Special better rates. Discounts. Discounts. <laughs> sure, take some. You won't find any sharper. Your sir is exactly the same. Well, we could swap if you wish. You seem to already have one. <laughs> Surely your gun is better, but uh, if you insist... Uh, you seem to already have one. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I should switch Surely back your gun to a Kalash is better, for this next section. If you insist... Surely your gun is better, but uh, if you insist... Yeah, it's more useful mm. for this part. As you wish. Guys, you are crazy! Because the VSP is pretty good for silenced, but it's not great for actually just having to open fire on people. Alright, let's 
surface we go. I went up again to the gloomy charm of post-apocalyptic Moscow. I was warned in Hall Station about a new squad of Nazi rangers on the surface. So this is a level where we can do some optional sneaking, but we do also have to fight some people without really a choice. I guess if you did it really well you could probably sneak through most of the level, but it's really hard to do because it's not dark up here at all. Get the ladder down! Let's move! Follow each other! It's all covered with ice, so watch out! So now we've got Nazis spooking around up here. But of course, there's still demons and howlers up here, too. If I have to whoop it back from I'll break your ass! Shoot, shoot! I mean, I didn't forget, fella. Example, the Nazis that are right below us, we can actually sneak past them if we can just take out this one guy up here. Not being seen, I'm not sure where he is exactly. There he is. Now, let's go through it again. We have 15 minutes at max to get the airlock open. If we don't make it in time, fall back to base. I've been thinking about blowing it up. What do you say, Herr Officer? Saying up here gives me the creeps. Look what we have here, a thinker. Brilliant! And did you think about what we do once we capture the hall? Shall we use your stupid head to close the exit? Cut the chatter! Reichsfuhrer gave us clear task to capture this station quietly! Not sure if that uh, gave me away or not. I guess not. You can see there's quite a few guys I would have had to fight otherwise. And we don't really need to worry about them busting through the station because they can't. Probably like the worst and most dangerous idea. Just sticking wooden platforms on top of this. I just walked into a trap. Well, that was unexpected. Unfortunately, when I tried to sneak past this time, the guy I killed on the upper ledge fell off and all the other guys detected me. So now I'm gonna have to shoot a few people up here. Mostly in that building. You can see there's that one. There.
Probably could have stealth killed that guy, but whatever. How did you survive that grenade? Perfect example of why I don't normally use grenades in this game. This building here is really the part where you can optionally sneak through. Had I not been seen by those initial guys, I could have snuck right through and started picking people off with the throwing knives. An enemy scout! Don't let him escape! Take me down that fast. I'm forgetting, of course, that I have the stealth armor and not the heavy armor, so this might be a little harder than I usually do it. Well, that was shitty. Thought I killed that guy. Shot him right off the building. Now there was two guys down here, but I pitched some grenades down. So I think I got at least one of them. Two. Okay.
And if you remember, our mission from defense was that was given to us was to go up to the radio beacon here on the surface and play that message. Ow. I'm watch out for the demons here. Horrible tripwire filled hallway. Now, as I mentioned the first time we ran into them, demons are actually really tough. However, if we had some sticky things, we can actually take them out just by pitching one of them at them. Can I jump to that? Actually, I could probably just disarm it. Just land here. There we It's a little confusing where you need to go from this building, but basically you need to go just over there. I don't want to stay up here for very long because this is where we're going to get grabbed. Once we get into this little hut, we've got the radio. Pop our tape in. kind of lost trying to remember where to go from this tunnel and from this building. So you think you could just jump down here, but of course no, there's just a bunch of stabby stabby spikes. Basically what we want to do is get to the first floor that's on the other side of the building. Pretty sure they heard that.
Okay, I think that's all the Nazis down here. Well, there could be one still hiding in these rooms back here. This is actually the guy that was shooting at us when we came across those. Sneak by as long as we stay alive. Anybody hurt? No? Okay, let's go then. That was a big one. Watch your backs, guys. Well, instead of fighting those guys, we're going to go to the station. It's the end of episode 10. I will see you next time in Black Station.